All right, folks, how is everybody doing today? You know, it's 2022. We are on the one, two, three, fourth four. week. And that's number four, and I'm not four. talking about the kids <laughs> next door. <laughs> not only. <laughs> I'm dying so early. <laughs> So as you can see, number four in this video, bro. Not, not only is it the fall fourth week of January on this bright, bright year of 2022, it is also episode four of the yes. Wait for it. We made it. Metro Bros Podcast. <laughs> yes, hey, man. sir. We this... made it four weeks. Four weeks, man. Honestly, man. It's, it's like it's my it. man Rich said in like a couple. The first few episodes, we like, we deliver, we promise yes. you. Exactly. We deliver, we do uh, not hold back. Yeah. We're for real about this. We were, we were serious. When we said, like, you know, we were going to do this, you know, we, we, we made sure we made the time. As I said, we're both doing yes. our content, you know, on our channel. You know, I mean, even when we not, even when we're waiting to, like, for our next review, we're still putting, like, those, like, shorts, you know. Just having a yep. channel, but we're, we're, we're serious about this, you know, even though we have like, like nice, Nike, just you, do it, just do it, you know, it's just my favorite, it. you know, I, I just bought a pair of Nikes, like, that's <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Super Bowl season's coming up, you know, man, gotta be Super ready. Bowl season, <laughs> oh, man, but GQ, man, how is it, how is it, all right, let's just just that because this is our fourth episode. It's like a fourth mini anniversary, episode. you know? How, yes. How has it been, though, like, from now, from, from the first one we recorded, early January to now, you know, coming to the end of January? Like, man, Rich, man, I'm, I'm feeling good because... Yeah. Yes, we both have our YouTube channels. Yeah. I feel like we're more consistent. Like, we're, we stay putting out work putting in that work, we're putting that time in, and 2022 is going, 2022 is starting off really good right now. Yeah, 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 man, my sentiment is exactly, you know, I think we, I think the good thing with us is, as you mentioned, we were consistent, and we like we right. carried the same momentum to since we first collected, yeah. you know, it's not like a week we haven't missed, like, our, you know, you know, even if it's not our, even our reviews, we're still putting out, you know, content, you know, right. for the ones, the audience. And it's, 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 for, it's for like our audience. You know, we're not, we're not changing our material to. Peace, oh, no, we're not changing. You know, we're not changing for nobody. Yeah, we're yeah. not dancing. Yeah. In the, <laughs> you want in me to the shine your shoes? Video. Shine your shoes, sir? You know? <laughs> shine your shoes. Shine your shoes. <laughs> we ain't doing oh, nothing. <laughs> Uh, we are not changing for nobody. We're sticking yes. to the spirit. Straight up. Straight sticking up, to man. what yeah. we know best. Yeah, and that's why I think the name fits us both. You know, yeah. because even when you mentioned it, it's, it's all genuine. It's so genuine, you know. This is it's very difficult. GQ mentioned this on, you know, on one of the last podcasts. You know, it's very few and far between of like, you know, you do content creators who talk about like holding errors you know whether it be like the music right. you know the tvs you know just like the channels as we talked about very few so it's cool that we were already doing that even before we started collabing you know right <laughs> you know that's been that's and been. now we're on spotify that's it y'all what am i lying man just it all right yes yeah. so folks you know on this episode the fourth one you know, if you do kind of rewind a bit back, you know, uh, me and GQ did do a collab talking about, like, uh, our favorite cartoons and animated TV shows, you know? Yes, so, sir. you know, we really enjoyed that because, you know, I, I, I know how we even spoke about this, and I'll touch into a bit about this even more later. Like, uh, we were, we, we're fans of these shows, and even to this day, we can still go back you know, and watch these right. shows, you know, because it's like it's a special part, you know, of our nostalgia, you know, growing up. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah. Exactly. You know, so and that's why even for this episode, we're kind of linking, 
the one we did for uh, our YouTube collab into this, where we're going to be talking about the heavyweights. You know, this is for the heavyweight title. The heavyweights. Oh, yeah. man. Cartoon Network man, versus this is Nickelodeon. Super Bowl special. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Super Bowl special, yes. Super Bowl episode. Exactly. I thought it would be so dope comparing yes. Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, their roster. We grew yes. up with these channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. each show next against each other. Talk yeah. about our me- favorite moments, favorite memories. It's absolutely. Let's do this. One hundred percent. You know, um, uh, this was. Uh, I think we both we both came at that time as well, where there was a boom and there was an influx right. of like anime shows. You know, on both you know st- stations, both channels. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's me incredible such a so as I always started off, man, you know, first impressions, like, you know, the first time you got introduced to this, you know, the first time you ever saw this Cartoon Network logo, you know. The you Nickelodeon know, blob. The Nickelodeon rush, you know, like how was how was um uh Cartoon Network and then Nickelodeon you were introduced to it, GQ. All right, so real. Mm-hmm. We're going to start with Nickelodeon because I started, that's, that was the first channel I watched. So Nickelodeon at the time, I was like four, five, six years old. That was a channel to go to on right. cable. When we first got cable, that was the first channel I like watched. So, so 95, 96, they played Doug. Rugrats, Love Dog, All Real Monsters, ah, which is an yes. underrated cartoon. Very, yeah, mm-hmm. very underrated. Super Ren and Stimpy. Oh yeah, who could um, forget Ren and Stimpy? Like <laughs> Ren and Stimpy, man, that was yeah. It, it Ren oh Stimpy man, was Family Guy at that time. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh man, it was a lot of shows, especially in the nineties, bro. I was watching when I was way too young. To be watching this show, so I didn't get a lot of the adult. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first really? adult cartoon. Yeah, okay, it's super cool. Yeah, but I really love these cartoons growing up, man. Yeah. They're like different from your usual Bugs Bunny, um, yeah, Tom Looney and Jerry, Kings, Tom and Jerry, yeah, yeah. Jetsons, Flintstones, mm-hmm. Flintstones, and they were playing. And they were playing those cartoons on Nickelodeon at the time. Yeah. But those, but the Nicktoons, the Nicktoons, there was something special to like watch. Yeah. Like, my very first cartoon I loved was Rugrats. Rugrats, right. Big yeah, Rugrats. Shout really out Rugrats, that, dude. Shout Rugrats out on Rugrats. That show, man. Yeah, Tommy yeah, yeah. Pickles. Tommy Pickles, man. Yeah. You know, he was about the action. You know, he had this, <laughs> the screwdriver inside exactly. of his diaper. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. One thing I've always loved about Rugrats, bro, I think that intro is so electrifying. You yes, know? Man. Yes. Yeah. Before the parents so walk in. I, I love that. Diaper. Diapers. Yeah. The... <laughs> I love my man that. popped. My man yes. grandpa was just sleeping. He did not, he did not <laughs> care about them kids. <laughs> he was meant to supervise them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, oh man, oh, oh, man, man. Tommy Pickles, man, with the bottle, man, with the bottle. Oh my gosh, remember man. Angelica? Angelica, you know, oh, man, I hated Angelica, man. She, she remind. We're gonna talk about this. Story. <laughs> Angelica reminded me of some weird way of um Helga Pataki from Hey Arnold. Just, I don't <laughs> yes. know why. I, I was doing like that. <laughs> bro, Rich. Bro, in the nineties, there were three cartoon characters I hated so much. Okay, hated, lay off me, man. I hated Angelica. Angelica, yeah. Angelica, I hate Helga wasn't bad. I, right. But just to Arnold. Only OD DW just from Arthur. Those right. Two, those two characters I hated in the nineties, man. DW from Doug. He was the classic uh bully you know you know it just oh, like, you're talking about roger clutch oh i'm talking about him sorry i got confused you know oh, no nah, dw was from arthur no dw was arthur's, arthur's sorry. little sister talking from oh, dog 
Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, Roger. He, yeah, he was Roger my was, one. Man. I couldn't stand. He had this, you know, jacket. You know, <laughs> leather black jacket. <laughs> yeah. I could not stand he him. Had that Michael, he had that Macklemore haircut. Yeah. That little, <laughs> the, the international fuckboy haircut. You know, like, you know what I'm talking about, bro. The part. You know what? He had that, like, <laughs> on the side. And he had these, like, his boots that he got from, like, yes. Hugo Boss or something. <laughs> Man, that first episode of Doug, when yeah. Doug tripped over that, like, that ketchup. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. it got over, like, Roger's shoes. Like, hey, was, man, like, you almost got my suede boots. Suede boots. <laughs> the one who tried to be so cool, he was trying to be cooler than school. That's, that's what the... That's what the right. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Excuse me, very but yes, no. Um, similar to you, man. Like, um, I it was introduced to me the cartoons. I was watching these ones before, as you said, like the Looney Tunes, of course. Yep. You know, Tom and Jerry. Yeah, that was a big thing. Jets, <coughs> you know, Flintstones. What was the other one? There was another show as well. It was came on car and they were called the Space Ghost Coast to Coast. I don't know if you oh yeah. Space Ghost Coast. You to know Coast. it, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I used to watch it. So those were the ones I was watching. Then when like uh, when I got introduced to Nickelodeon, which was roughly the same time, ninety five, yeah. ninety six. Yeah, when these ones, these like gem shows used to come. You know, Hey Arnold was definitely the one that I was like. Oh yeah locked in like i was um because it was similar like how um dragon ball z you know we're gonna talk about yeah. our cartoon network you know that used to play uh you know just before and after we went to school hey arnold was the same we used to watch that right. i'm glad they didn't not i'm glad they didn't milk hey arnold yeah like they did spongebob oh right well <laughs> i think when spongebob started to get popular that's when I started to kind of get out of the uh, the phase right, of watching the whole Nickelodeon. Like, the yeah. whole Nickelodeon. That was, I was like, that, that was like the one because, uh, yeah, SpongeBob, it became like the Simpsons, you know, of just yeah. like going way beyond, you know, right. and the episodes didn't really mean too much. It was just about how they're going to milk it, you know, as you said, right. you know, so like, then, yeah. Mm. So that then, definitely, um, yeah. With Cartoon Network, my first impressions, because I was like elementary school back then. Man, Cartoon Network on Friday nights, that was something special, man. Destination Friday. You when you see that. Cartoon, cartoon. The 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 cartoon cartoons. Yes, yes. Oh my god, so glad you brought that up, bro. That's yeah, when you've uh, seen that bumper that, the, the TV, the TV spots. I think one thing Cartoon Network did excellent was the TV spots. So these are these little like 20, 30 second trailers. And it's like yeah. they show like all the cartoons that are, you know, coming to Cartoon Network Friday, 8 p.m., be there on B Square. You know, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It was so cool. Uh, yeah, that was something special, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I remember watching Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Lab, Count Ooh, Chicken, Powerpuff Girls. Those are the three shows that I first remembered. Right, right, right. Friday nights. Then after that, they played um, Space Ghost, like at ten. <laughs> yes, late night. I used to watch that. Oh my gosh, Jeez. Space Ghost, Coast to Coast at the end. Uh, my one was the same. It was Johnny Bravo. Another one that came out, cartoon, cartoon, was, I don't know if you watched this one, was called Porridge, the Cowardly Dog. He was the purple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, came later. That came yeah, later, but, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was like the first time I watched Cartoon Network. I, I remember they played those three yeah. cartoons, like yeah. that in I Am Weasel. I yeah. Am Weasel, yeah. you know, I Are Yeah, Moon, then they played yeah. Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls and Powerpuff Courage. Girls, you know, Dexter's Laboratory. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, like I said, that, that I, I think um, Dexter was always one of like how. All right. Like how Hey Arnold was on Nickelodeon. Um, that's that's one of the that cartoons that I got hooked. You know, I was like, yeah, you know, I was finding the character's name. This was a time when the Internet, of course, wasn't as big as it was now, you know, so <laughs> I used to do a lot of right. on 
hey arnold and the characters and then dexter's laboratory was similar just like how hey arnold i was i was hooked on man dark you know man dark (laughs) i love man dark uh dd was just annoying it was a pest dd was a <laughs> pest you know? yeah oh my gosh and but yeah that was there were those were like the main my, hey, my favorite character was the dad the dad he was uh he <laughs> that was about the bullshit <laughs> he, he was about... <laughs> I'm kidding. i don't know if you get it i think there's one episode i always remember this from the dad uh, he's trying to watch the su- the Super Bowl. He's trying to watch. <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking about. Everybody was scared. Everyone was buffering. Yeah. The whole episode, folks. They're all trying to buffer oh, He was just trying to just catch the Super Bowl. And Dee Dee Dexter, the mom, yeah. everyone was distracting him. You know, <laughs> he was going to say. The Dexter act like he was so, he was so enthused, so concerned about the game. Like, hey, Dad, what are you watching? I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you never thought about sports in Yo. your life. So now you're all up in the, all into the game. <laughs> but you know, you know what's cool about that? <laughs> you know what's cool about that episode? It's like it imitates a uh, reality because there's a lot of guys who are like, you know, married with their families. When it comes to those, eight, you know, game day, you know, Super Bowl. They don't want to. They don't want to be bothered by nothing, you know. So I, I, I really, I always remember when you said the dad, but <laughs> he was a. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> good times with Dexter, man. Uh, Dexter was, uh, yeah, it's like, oh my gosh, that that one here on man, that was sort of just enough. But like with that, so we, you know, we talked about like when we, you know, like introduced and you know. Our particular like shows on Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. What do you think made those them different? Like you know, because they were around for the same kind of ages, you know, and it's like they came. They some of them dealt with the same tones, you know. I mean, like Dexter mm-hmm. and Arnold were maybe probably like maybe Arnold was a bit older, but they were both like uh, school, you know, elementary right. kids and that. But what do you think made Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network like different? from each other definitely the animation right the animation made it different right. and the tone of the cartoons mm-hmm. the characters are really di- different from each other you yeah. can tell they're not trying to like bite each other's style mm-hmm. like you know what you're going to get when you're watching rugrats exactly. um you know what you're going to get when you're watching johnny bravo mm-hmm. um Powerpuff Girls, Ed, Ed, Ed Nettie. Oh, that's um, yes. Story storyline. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. They all they all were very um uh. It's like authentic. Like every show, yeah. you know, dealt with you know. And as you mentioned, like Johnny Bravo, you know, I think this is one of the biggest like burden questions, you know, of like cartoon history. How come Johnny Bravo wasn't able to GTD? Get the draws. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry, Tommy, but I had to, I had to, I had to put that one in, man. I had to get the draws. Oh, the draws. He starts like everyone in the car. <laughs> Yana, he is not, he is not cooperating. He yeah. has to speak up. Tommy, let everyone know no. what is GTD. God, the draws. <laughs> 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 hey, that sheriff, that sheriff was about the bullshit too. He was like this, he was like yeah, and he's like that, and he's like he told him just to say. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Good old Martin. Good old Martin. But yeah, man, boys. but yeah, Johnny Bravo. Like you know, anybody see that show? Johnny Bravo. He's a muscular dude. This is before the yeah. Wayne the Rock Johnson. You know, Johnny Bravo was the OG. <laughs> you know, he. He had all the pickup lines from Will Smith. He had the black silk, the, the, the tight fit muscle shirt. Yeah. But he could not. He could not get a girl. <laughs> no. Nah, he fumbled the bag, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. I don't know what it was. Because I never got it at the, uh, when I watched Johnny Bravo, you know, because I was like, man, you know, he would say yeah. these stuff that, like, yeah, I can imagine getting him slapped. But I was like, huh? 
some girls would like die to be with that you know but it's like um i do understand it's a cartoon show you know but yeah right well no one gave johnny bravo i like the, oh. I like the later episodes of, i like the later episodes of johnny bravo when that oh what was that other that new character the, uh, that the, annoying the, character the, the, not the uh, girl the uh oh, oh. what's he talking about i thought it was the girl i'm sorry so this is like season, season four. Right. I had the first season. Right. But right, right. after, I think it was like the second season, they introduced a couple of new characters. Right. And he's in that diner or something like that. Yeah. I forgot. It's it's annoying, annoying guy. Annoying. I don't know. I forgot uh, his name. Right. I feel like, yeah. No, we we'll definitely like uh, you know. Yeah, definitely. If you, you have, hey guys, if you know that yeah, character's name, please hit us up, man. Please, you, know, you would love, us, uh, would love because, to know because uh, yeah, I'm yeah, all yeah. mind yeah, 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 yeah. Johnny Bravo was like it was just that one. It was just that show. Just like as you mentioned, Cow and Chicken, you yeah. know, and uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, you know, for sure, man. But yeah, man. So you got uh, that. So like. That's a discussion. And then, like, with, like, um, because I think Nickelodeon did it more than Cartoon Network. Nickelodeon had more of the kind of, uh, more of the live uh, action series. So you had, like, you know, the, yeah. the Amanda show. <laughs> you yeah. Had all that. Oh, 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 <laughs> this is all oh, that. <laughs> Man, shout out to TLC, Preston yes, Peace, that was Left Eye Lopez. Bro, man, the theme, I, I, can't, I, I sound the like theme. a broken record. There was something just like magical. Like fresh out the this. box. Stop yeah. looking, watch. Yeah. Ready yet? Get yeah. set. It, it's all, all of that. And then it shows the streets. You know, I, I don't know if it's like New York, but like, yeah, you know, the steps. Just the steps that had to be on. one of the best intros. Yeah. Like, hey. Trust me. You know, that was, it was, it was, it was so deaf, you know, all that. And even the Keenan and Cal, you know, like, um, I mean, yeah. I'm going to spend a bit of time on, uh, oh, 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 oh. yeah. Julio's epic intro for Keenan and Cal. What did you think of Keenan and Cal? You know, cause that, to be honest, I think even when people think of Nickelodeon, that's like possibly hey, they're one in the of the Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, yeah there were the faces of Nickelodeon at the time. Um, I remember uh, watching all that when I was younger. Yeah, um, it was like the kid version of the Living Color, right? Because they yeah. did their they did their sketches, you know. Yeah, even yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, some of my favorite sketches from all that um was oh, um uh, repair me, 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 me. What do you like <laughs> um, to repeat Kel it? Kel Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> Kel Mitchell doing repair man or or um he was like he was playing a coach or something like that and he always right. got like beat up or something. <laughs> I love Kel, man. Or uh, Ed from Good Burger. The like, Good Burger. He's yeah. dude. He's dude. dude. We all dudes. Hey. Bro, um, speaking of like Good Burger, that is to this day still like a cult classic. You know? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people know about like, you know, Good Burger. I, I keep forgetting Sinbad. You know, Sinbad, the comedian, he was in Good Burger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. Marcus Houston, aka David L. From you got sir. You got sir. Oh yeah, yeah. Roger. I some some people just call Roger. it Roger. Go home, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> Roger for sister sister. Especially when I was growing up, um, sister sister was on Nickelodeon. That was it was it was only on uh yeah. Sister, sister. So I remember rinsing like sister, sister, Keenan and Kel, of course, um, and uh, all of all of that. I think I watched it later on. I was more later on, but those were like, yeah, there was. And the yeah. other one, the other yeah. one. I'm sorry, before I forget, the other big one at the time was the Amanda Show. You know, I don't know if you watched this one. 
Yeah, man, I never got into that show. Yeah. I never found it funny. It was. Um, I thought she was funny on all that, but yeah, that's that's what it was, you know. And that's the, that's where um, all of like, for people who don't know, like uh, where like Amanda, Keenan, Kel, you know, even Drake and Josh. Yeah, I was about to start. They all originally uh, all that. From even Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon. <laughs> yeah, you know. It was all that. <laughs> while and out. Yeah, while and out, man. <laughs> you know, so, uh, as similar as, and it's cool GQ mentioned that, as In Living Color kind of like uh, boosted a lot of these like careers for like, you know, the big, you know, the Wayans, of course, Jim Carrey, Jennifer Lopez, and, you know, my man Jamie Foxx, you know, all of that did that as well. You know, it, it yeah. launched like the careers, you know, so like all of that is like one of, yeah, one of the things, one of the, you know, best like shows and that, but like with um, you know, Keenan and Kel, as you said, they were the face. You know, what what were your what were your thoughts with Keenan and Kel, and have you even gone and seen it like now? Like, have you seen it like recently? Oh yeah, yeah. So, right. So <clears throat> my thoughts about Keenan and Kel, like the show mm-hmm. and the comedians. So yeah, all that in Keenan and Kel was like the. Must watch show yeah, yeah, back yeah. then at my house because I remember they play all that. Then uh, he comes Ken and Kel, yeah. And I thought those two shows were like funny. Ken and Kel, you know, they make a good like dynamic duel. Yeah, they were funny on all that too. <laughs> um, going back watching it now. Um. Ooh, it's cool. It's cool. I would right. say, yeah. Yeah. Has yeah. it? Has it dated? Did you ever feel? Because I'm not saying I think it it dated. some shows do get dated. You know, you do yeah. go watch it back. Um, and it's like I, I, I and that's why I even asked because I did watch. I was just you know stumbling, stumbling on YouTube. I was going yeah. through folios. You know the intro, and I said, you know what? Let yeah. me check out the. You know, let me check out one episode. You know, and it's like I saw Raquel with like who loves orange soda, you know, killers of loves orange soda. Is it true? true. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I, I do. do. <laughs> yeah. Man. <laughs> but I say Ken and Kel's show dated. Yeah. Um there's still episodes where I laugh. Right. I'm right, gonna right. keep it all the way honest. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. For what it was back in like ninety six, ninety seven. Yeah. It would have been a lot funnier in that time period. Right. So I think I would give it a fair rating. It's a like, fair. Yeah. You know. It's would you, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Like, would you say, because um, I know this is a Disney show. I'm not going too much off topic, you know. Like, we, you know, with that so Raven, because that was a show I was yeah. after. You know, Keenan and Kel. At that time, I was like, you know, 10, 11, and I was just yeah. always watching That's So Raven. Would you, say, how would you say That's So Raven compares to Keenan and Kel? Compared to Keenan and Kel? Yeah. yeah. What would you say? That's, a, that's not a bad idea for a topic. I swear. They're very. That's So Raven. Yeah, still, very, still this day, people still watch That's All Raven. I'm telling you, I don't. I'm. I'm like, I love Disney. You know, mm. you know, shout out to Disney. But you know, what I mean, but I yeah. thought it was a solid show. You know, I, I always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, lo- I loved it, man. Yeah, um, because when you think of Keenan and Kel, you probably think about the intro. Yeah. In Good Burger, but yeah, exactly. people still to this day watch Raven. That's All Raven. Yeah, and that yeah. show came out like twenty years ago. Yeah, it's an early. Keenan Kel came out like twenty five years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they were. I a think bit, they that's were a bit older. Raven. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's what Raven is a better show. Yeah, to be honest. Honestly, if I yeah, I I would I would uh, agree. You know, watching it all together as a complete show. Yeah. Yeah. I would say that's so Raven. But as you said, they do make a good, like, uh, you know, versus, you know, because it, it is that family sort of show, yeah. you know, structure. You know, Keenan had his family, you know, there, and Raven had the family and he had the neighbor, you know, who was always coming. So, yeah, you know, they, they relate well, you know, so for sure. So, 
that was like so that was the main ones you know the live actions and you know the good burglar movie um yeah. what were what were your thoughts as well because um i don't know how it was like in the states because i was still back in uk but what did you yeah. feel of when they did put movies on cartoon network and nickelodeon because like for me there was like on fridays they used to mm-hmm. have this thing called destination friday you know and yeah. it's like they used to put uh just movies you know it could be oh, like yeah. Uh, yeah it could be like um the hey arnold movie for nickelodeon and then on cartoon network yeah. we had the uh, dexter's laboratory you know it's just like the, the movie yeah. you know for dexter so what did you think of like the movies that came out on each uh channels okay mm-hmm. You know, so and also, I'll, I'm gonna talk about how they like took other like cartoons and put on Cartoon Network. Yeah, but I'll get yes. to your question first. Sure, but sure, sure. For a movie, but, um, because on Cartoon Network they play nothing but Scooby Doo movies, <laughs> like Scooby Doo and uh, oh, they were like trapping the island or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, the 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 animated ones. You're talking about the yeah, 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 yeah. Are you talking about the, yeah, both. Talking, or what you talking about the all live action? No, all of them. Oh, okay, hey, yeah. All, as I said, on on both channels, Nickelodeon card. I remember watching Good Burger on Nickelodeon, and then on Cartoon Network they would have the Scooby Doo uh movie, you know, the, the animated and the live action one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like it was. They will play the on Cartoon Network. They will play the Scooby Doo movies. They will play the Alvin and Chipmunks movie. Yes. Um, Tom and Jerry movies. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Cartoon Network play the like great good variety of movies. Yeah, that's yeah. what I appreciate. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. also, um, they will play some. Cartoons from Kids WB like Freakazoid, Wayne <laughs> Hey, Wayne Head was that show. It was that uh, show, right? I remember <laughs> it was on Kids WB, but they played on Cartoon Network. I remember they played it for it's like an hour. I'm like, oh man, like, oh man, Wait, it was oh, that. <laughs> Man, Wayne Head was that show back then. Yeah. Um, that only had one season. Yeah. Cartoon Network played that. One season. Yeah. Man, I couldn't They will play the cartoons from Kids WB. Like, they will play Freakazoid. They will play. What did Man you think Black, of uh, Freakazoid? Professor like, Tweety. Yes. Freakazoid? Bro, I bought that on DVD. I oh, that really? On DVD. Right. At Walmart. I still DVD need. Seasons. I have it, like, opening. I just kept it because. Yo, that's that's nostalgia. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they will play Beetlejuice. <laughs> I remember Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Freakazoid was that. Freakazoid was underrated back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was like um because I believe the creators of Animaniacs they worked on yeah. uh, Freakazoid. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. And um, yeah, I used to watch that. Of course, Beetlejuice. Um, they had the Men in Black, and they also had the Godzilla series, you know. Yeah. And they also had a Ghostbusters show. This is all coming back. Uh, Extreme Ghostbusters on Nickelodeon. That is a show, my man. I love oh, man. that show. My, I would watch that today, man. <laughs> I love Extreme Ghostbusters. Yeah, let me put let me put on Nickelodeon side. All right. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Man, Nickelodeon, they played, they played Gumby. I remember Gumby. Gumby. Did you love the live action? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They, they played the Flintstones. They played the Jetsons. Yes. This is like early Nickelodeon before like SpongeBob was in the picture. Yeah. You know, SpongeBob then became similar, as you said, like how Keenan and Kel were the face. Like, I guess SpongeBob yeah. pretty much took over, you know, like in the late. You know, to, uh, early to late two thousands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, what yeah, yeah. What else? What else was? Oh man, Alvin and Chipmunks. Of course, play that. Yeah. Um, but then they started having their own like Nickelodeon cart, like original cartoons, like the Dugs and the yeah, yeah, Rocket yeah, Towers and. The- and- and wow, yeah. Thornberry. And, and, sh- and straight up, honestly, it's a good way to slide it in. Check out 
um, uh, GQ Jamal's Rocket Power uh, review. Yes, sir. On his YouTube channel. You know, I actually sent it to one of my friends here. And she, she loved it. Power. Because <laughs> they grew up. They grew up an Arizona. Underrated cartoon. Very, very. It still holds to like. I, I still. You know, we, we, it's I not was, dated. I, mean, I was watching it. It's on um, Amazon. You know, you have to purchase yeah. the episodes, but I was watching it with my amigo here, and we were like, "This show is still no bomb," you know? <laughs> right, man. Yeah. I love Rocket, Rocket Power. Power. Was like one of the coolest cartoons, like yeah. Underrated. It just has that, uh, you know, that as he said, it's like that, uh, uh, California, like by the beach, you know, that Venice kind it's of with so- the Hawaiian vibe. Yeah, it's so chilled out, this you know. Is like if Hawaii Five O with a cartoon, yeah, <laughs> like Miami Vice, hey, that like show the Miami really, Vice the cartoon. I think, I think that show really helped, like the Tony Hawk games. Yeah, shout out to the Tony Hawk games for the PlayStation, you know, because yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah, one and two. bro, man. If we go on to like, like you know, just touch on gaming, like what. My, most of my favorite games on like the uh what's it, like the PlayStation One <laughs> and yeah. the uh, Nintendo sixty four. A lot of it was the skateboarding and the snowboarding games. You know, yeah, SSX back, Tricky, man. SSX Those Tricky. Games are coming and, back. Oh, bro, man! I used to love Tony Hawk Skate. I just they just like, re-released the uh, Tony Hawk um, Pro Skater One and Two. Right, They're like it's like remastered. Yeah. I, I'll possibly uh, rocket power, man. Bro, if if I start getting on them games, I feel like I'll be start doing gaming reviews on my channel after that. Right, <laughs> I Good swear, because I'll get hooked. Then, then another, then another underrated cartoon I love is All Real Monsters, man. Mm. <laughs> these little monsters just scare these kids and these. Whoa. Bro, do you feel like um I feel real monsters? Uh I think that influenced a lot of like the um how can I say like the terror cartoons, you know, the ones that were yeah. like uh, you know, they dealt with like uh eras like you know, real monsters always felt this kind of Halloween vibe, you know. That's why I yeah. used to love the designs, you know, especially the one that you the eyeballs that show during Halloween. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, I was watching Real Monsters with like I don't know if you know they had Goosebumps, which used to play on uh, <laughs> oh Fox Kids, Fox Kids, yeah. I used to yeah. watch <laughs> Goosebumps and Real Monsters anytime for like Halloween. Uh, we would even watch episodes of those in uh, school. So if the teacher right. was like Halloween vibes, they put Real Monsters and of course uh, Goosebumps. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bigger, big, bigger, bigger uh, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's a that's a still still to this day. I could still uh, watch Root Monsters. You know, I think that's one's aged pretty well. Yeah, it's mm. under, very underrated. Very. But I was yeah. So when I was like, love all real monsters. I'm like, yo, that show didn't get the credit it deserved. Yeah. I believe so, man. That was that was one of the. Do you remember uh, my brother and me? No, I didn't. I didn't. I I, I know of it. That but was I, another show that I remember growing up. Right, because it used to come on like with all day and Ken and Kel. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, they used to play that a lot, and it got yeah. canceled after one season. Oh, uh, don't you hate when that happens? You know, these ones you get interested yeah. in, and these guys. <laughs> It's just one season. I can't stand that. It's like, I how do you how do you get nominated for a, a like yeah. a NAACP award and your show get canceled? I, yeah, I, I didn't get it. And then and then they were, um, it, and this is why we even talked about uh, Car Network and Nickelodeon. I felt for all of the shows they were. Even the shows that you could consider like were not your favorite, they still were all like a. It was a level, you know. What I mean, there was a level like you could watch these. You right. know, most of them were solid shows. If you went on to channels like Fox Kids, yeah. it had a lot of shows that I yeah. could not believe had more than one season. You know, 
Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man. This I I got a whole list on Fox Kids. Like there's shows like The Tick, um, some of like these Marvel the shows. Like you know The Tick. <laughs> <laughs> Ick extra, Ick extravaganza. Yeah. Oh my god. They well, I had... love Bobby's World though. That was yeah. that was a wa- that was a buzz to watch. I, I I loved I loved that. Um, Fox Kids was playing a lot of the Marvel yeah. the Marvel cartoons. Like they had ones for Silver Surfer, the Fantastic Four. It, every Marvel yeah. superhero had a series, and I was like a whole. Uh, yeah, the whole. Yeah, I remember She-Hulk. Fox Kids had a um a Fox Family Channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, like every Saturday they would play all the shows that were on like Fox Kids. They would yeah. put, put it on that channel, like yeah, exclusive to Fox Kids, you know. So like yeah, so it was it was um, uh, but there was a lot of shows on Fox Kids. Like I watched, I tried so much like Iron Man. A series that was on Fox Kids, and I was just yeah. like, "This is garbage! I cannot watch this. <laughs> Fox Kids. I cannot watch this." It was, it was just, oh man, man! Don't uh, let's not forget the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live. Damn, that was a garbage show. That was, that was, uh, man. And the thing is, the movie. I always thought the movie was like cool, like the original Teenage Mutant Hero Tales, you know, that came like around the time I was bored, you know, but the, the card, oh, the series, yes, you know. I, yeah, but I always loved the, like, the cartoon. Yeah. But then they made a movie, then they made a live action show. The, the like, live action, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stand yeah. out of ah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Man. I, and that's one thing you, you gotta remember as well, um, when when these movies got made, especially like the late 80s and 90s, they would have like yeah. you know, action figures. They would have like the McDonald's meal, you know, and they would have, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the McDonald's Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. When Men in Black came in, you would get the, uh, you know, the, era- the neutralizer, you know, you can erase, <laughs> you can erase the memory. So much bad promotion when these movies would come out, yo. <laughs> I remember man, those days. I know this is off topic, man. When you said Burger King, I, <laughs> man, you remember all those? You remember all the like black cartoon characters at that one haircut style? They had right. That break from movies. Yes. Oh, the similar man. hairstyle, you know. It it has changed a lot, you know, from uh. Not even just black, but just putting the ethnic characters yeah. in the cartoons. You know, it's like it's, it's changed a lot. Man, I appreciate Gerald so much, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gerald from Gerald, and like I said, we talked about this on the influence of kid and play. You know, Gerald wouldn't be running, yeah. uh, you know, I thought fade. <laughs> man, Gerald had those. <laughs> and Joe had those like um, stories. He had the stories. On yeah, day. I was like, this kid, the urban legend. Thought, the urban legends. He's like, what on the street is you know the stoop kid. A uh, stoop <laughs> kid never lives the stoop. You know? <laughs> like, my man Fuzzy Slippers. <laughs> I used to. And then we all know Fuzzy Slippers was the plug. Yes, he was. You know, <laughs> he was a shady character that don't. One hundred, just oh. man, uh, and and uh, man, we're, we're gonna go uh, out to Harry Ardu, man, for sure, you know, because well, I want to yeah. say, because especially for me, uh, we're gonna talk about like our best from both, you yeah. know, kind of cards and everything that. But, um, one thing there as well, and this one I'll definitely, you know, interject, you know, um, especially in the late nineties, you know, we even spoke about this when I came on your YouTube channel, GQ Jamal. You know, if you haven't subscribed, go yes, do it now. Subscribe. <laughs> we went on that and we did, a, yes, we did a cool conversation talking about Pokemon and like how super yeah. this was in the late nights. And to me, and I'm sure with, even with GQ, Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z is probably the first introduction to what is called an anime. Yeah. 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 Mainstream. You know? mainstream so at that time pokemon and dragon ball z were running on the same time i was watching pokemon there was a channel called sky one 
in UK, so we used to watch this on Sky One, but Dragon Ball Z was on Cartoon Network, then it got moved on to, yeah. the, to NAMI, you know, so, well, what were your, what were your thoughts yeah. you know, about, like, you know, um, the anime shows, like Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z, because that was, they were big, bro, you know, at the time. Oh, yeah, they were big. Yeah. Like, like I say, when we did my episode on GQ TV, subscribe, <laughs> GQ Jamal, <laughs> run that intro. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, like like I said when we did our collab video, mm-hmm. Pokemon was a big cartoon yeah. in the late nineties. It so, came out of nowhere, like just, that cartoon sh- like skyrock, skyrocket. Yeah, yeah. This is a big phenomenon. Yeah. And when I first watched Pokemon. It was it was originally on Fox. It was okay. already syndicated. Right, yeah, right, so right. Then it got moved to Kids WB for like mm-hmm. a good decade, ten years, and it got moved to Cartoon Network. Right. Yeah. People that know me, I'm a diehard Pokemon fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, yeah. love Pokemon to death, especially like Generations One and Two. Yeah, so uh, one, uh, no, one hundred. Uh, what was the three hundred original Pokemon? One, two, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can at least. And I remember, um, <laughs> once Cartoon Network picked up Pokemon, they play like all the old episodes. Yeah. From, like, in the Go League, right? To, like like Johto, yeah. Orange Island. Then Dragon Ball Z, then Dragon Ball Z, man. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z was something special to oh, watch. Big time. Coming man. home yeah. after school, four o'clock. Yeah, four o'clock, man. man. Yeah. Sailor you know, Moon, Dragon yeah. Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, D, um, man. There was another one called Tenchi Mio. I don't know if you like yeah. it. Yeah, that was, there was this whole collection. When Toonami got made, as GQ said, you had all those animes got put on. You know, on, yeah. So in it, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball series. Yeah. You know, so we were we were so like gifted at that time, man. Like when Toonami was at its peak, you know, right. with all these shows, man. But um, yeah, I, I like, remember. I remember one Halloween, I wanted to be Goku. Oh right. <laughs> so yeah. we like we had to like shop like every store. We could not find. <laughs> oh, because I find the Goku costume, the, the orange, the so orange. Finally, shout out to TJ Maxx. We found it, <laughs> man. Goku was that character, man. Yeah, yeah. He was. Um, he was. He was. I, I, as um, as popular as Pokemon was, Dragon Ball Z was like you know there. Yeah, you know neck and neck. You were even seeing a Pikachu. You know, somewhere you were right, seeing Goku. like a Kamehameha, you know, Goku. And people were doing this. Like, there was people in schools. Right. They were going like this, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember. You either would see a Pokeball yeah. or a Dragon Ball. Those are two, like, iconic balls. Iconic balls, you know. Dragon Balls and Pokeballs, you know, it was... Uh, yeah. it, it was insane, man, because it was like you were you were watching these shows and you would come into school and you would be talking about it, you know, even before class right. or, you know, in, re- in recess. You know, you'd wear the shirts when you didn't have to wear, uh, you know, uniform. It was, it was, a, it was a huge hey, man. Do you remember the... Do you remember going on Cartoon Network playing all the games? Yes, the I'm Dragon so Ball Z games. <laughs> hey, those games are fire, bro. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, those games. Yeah, as I said, like you can call me a nerd or whatever. Hey, those like, Cartoon Network games were fire. Those games were fire, man. At those times, man, shoot, you know, it was, it was, it was so. I, you know, most thing when you're talking about this, I this is one of the reasons I found it very difficult to concentrate in school because of like. The games and like the shows, you know, like I could be a math class and I'm thinking like, oh, how's Goku going to be Frieza? You know, right. <laughs> yeah, I, that would be in my mind because these, I was uh, so hooked on these uh, shows, man, like legit, you know, yeah. it was, it was yeah. very cool. 
man oh man but like with that right, yeah it's, it's just you had to be there you know like right. this generation you, you, you had really had, you had to be there but you know that being said like uh we talked about like you know the the, the, the top you know and like you know how tsunami you know got create adult swim you know of course you know they had more of the adult oriented shows and speaking of like you know coming from like you know the early teens to like you know like that mid teens when when was it like when you stopped watching like the you know even Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network? Like, do you remember the time? When I stopped watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah do you I remember? would say high school. High school, I would right? Say high right. school. Yeah. Right, right, right. And Around, was it like yeah. 2005, 2006 ish? Possibly yeah. the same. I was still watching Cartoon Network. Yeah. Cartoon Network had some heat. Yeah. But but Nickelodeon, I stopped watching it like during high school. The high school, you know. Was it was one of the reasons was due to like the of the influx of SpongeBob? Like uh that one of the reasons because no, um, not necessarily no, right. SpongeBob. I I love SpongeBob's like first three seasons. Yeah. Yeah, because I can ref- I can like name a SpongeBob reference for days. Yeah, like, yeah. Five five like, five months yeah. later or like two weeks later. Yeah. <laughs> like two months two later. Months later. <laughs> <laughs> like is this a crusty crab? Like, no, just Patrick. <laughs> a crabby patty. Yo, Patrick was <laughs> Hey man. But yo, Patrick was a shit for like leaving SpongeBob. At yeah. rock bottom. <laughs> Always remember that. <laughs> and that was the longest eleven minutes of my life, man. That was that, that was a lot. Pissing me off as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's. Uh, <laughs> you gotta know who your real homies are, man. Like that's right, it'd be your own homies, bro. <laughs> but no, but really, I I really stopped like gr- watching Nickelodeon when I was a. Well, when I was in high school. High school when um, right, right, right. Um, I think the content changed and plus yeah. at that time, um two thousand five, this is like the YouTube era was starting to rise. Like YouTube Yes was well, like newly created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I, and I think it's funny because our you know, our generation is really like a last you know, coming yeah. into this 2000s because we were there when we had like the, you know, the VHS cassettes, you know, as yeah, you said, you had one, the, yeah. yeah, you know, the Freakazoid, you said you had the Freakazoid on DVDs, you know, and like I said, we used to wait for specific times to watch like these shows, you know, you right. know what I mean? So like when it changed similar, for, you know, it's the time is you, man, like when I was like 15, 16, that's where I kind of went away from Nickelodeon. Yeah. You know, and it's like, um, I was, um, I didn't know about YouTube, you know, I knew about like, you know, MySpace and, you know, certain yeah. other ones. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. that came up later, but it's like, I know YouTube was there for like time, but like the whole streaming, right. uh, you know, platform started like that, you know, just at the end of the process. But I, I like you, I was still watching, um, uh, uh, cartoon, Toonami. I was still watching Cartoon Network too much, but too long. Yeah. Sam- Samurai Jack, you know, which I'm a big fan, which you're going to be seeing a review. <laughs> no, yes, possibly sir. the review will already be Tune out. Me. Stay tuned. It's uh, that, you know. Stay tuned. Really, Rich Man really, Yeah. Samurai Jack review. <laughs> exactly. You know, that that was supposed to be the, the only one I was watching and also like reruns of yeah. like uh, Dragon Ball Z. You know, so at that age. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 yeah, and another thing that I appreciate about Nickelodeon, I love, I really love the those game shows that they had. Yeah, yeah, they, they had the game shows, the the Figure It Out, the Legend of Hidden Temple, mm-hmm. um, Global Guts. That was good. right, right, right. Yeah, that was another show that was like we watched faithfully. Guts, Legend of Hidden Temple, Nick right. Nick Arcade. Um, Wild and crazy kids. Right. I'm just I'm just putting pictures because I know like Nickelodeon has a lot of kids, uh, a lot of um of the game shows. You know, they yeah. even used to stop in that. Yeah, you know, and uh, and, I, and I said this in my um Rocket Power review. Right. Nickelodeon always had like 
during like March or April, they always had this uh, let's let's play, like get out and play. Right. So they would like they would um not air program for like maybe ten o'clock to like five o'clock. Okay. So, so kids can like go out and play. Go out and, and play. Society. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Why? <laughs> Imagine that up, it's being like, like you know, it, that's like Saturday. basically being woke it before, you know, right. like we want you to kind of not be stuck on right. the TV, you know. That's that's very interesting, you know. Yeah. Man. Like I get it. Like yeah. I get it. Yeah. Then after then after that they will play like marathon for like Rocket Power or right. or Hey Arnold. Yes. Like like Related to that program, yeah, like they would have like, ep- like episode things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just on that side. No, no, no. It's very infamous. And, and uh, man, what did you think as well? I, I forgot to mention this with Kid and Kill. What did you think of Cousin Skeeter? Because that was on Nickelodeon when I was watching that. Like, what I, I was on? Yeah, was on Nickelodeon for you as well. Like, was... like what you think about like the whole like Team Nick era? Like, yes, like because it's either honest thoughts. That show, that's yeah. It's on. I mean, I know they had like they had the Paramount Plus. They play. They have all the original shows. But yeah, Cousin yeah, Skeeter yeah. is not on there. Cousin yeah. Skeeter was. Was that show growing up? Yeah, I I used to um I, I I it's funny I didn't even know it was cousin Skeeter till after yeah you know I was always like oh it's that puppet the black puppet in the family but I didn't even I always missed the intro I st- I still don't remember the cousin oh the Skeeter. intro Man. As a that memories. That's the first time you see Megan Good. Megan Good. Shout out to uh, Angela Means. You know she plays the Angela Mover. Yeah. The dad, the dad, the from that's so Raven. He's um, he's in it. Uh, Robert Richard from One on One. You know, you know or, Oh my gosh! And also Bill Bellamy. What do you call? He uh, yeah. just cuts. Either I'm like, how was that? I always wonder how that worked because that show yeah. came out a little after How to Be a Player. Yeah. Like, you know, so, man, he was playing two <laughs> was different. Uh, and you know, Bill Bellamy was um he was a presenter on MTV yeah. Jams. Do you know uh uh he was like um yeah a BJ. He was a BJ, you know, so he interviewed like Tupac. Yeah. Boy, and and he was also the on who's the boss. Yeah, Bill Bellamy was the. Some people gotta give him his props, man. Like Bill Bellamy in the you know in the nineties, even to this yeah. day, he's still a uh, you know a top comedian. I, I really am a big fan. Of, yeah, he know, was very funny in the Brothers. Yes, man, Bill Bellamy, man. <laughs> oh man, oh, shout man. Out to the Brothers. The Brothers. The brothers. Was, that's an underrated. Yeah, an underrated film. You no, know, you know the brothers came out that same time as like you know the best man. You know it's those kind of you know early yeah. two thousand. You know what I mean? Like the best man. Yeah, the uh, wood, the best the wood, man. You know those those later black uh, movies. You know that came out. Barbers, you could put barbershop in there as well. Was, yeah, two yeah. can play that game. Two can play that game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my personal Marshall. favorite um breaking all the rules breaking all the jamie fox and gabriel um yeah. i i i was wanting to watch that for a time you know i i need to somehow you know try catch it you know i haven't seen it in forever right you know like that, that's that movie man you know but, yeah, man. Sorry if we stayed too much of the anime stuff. Oh, no, man. It's, it's all related. This is what no. we do on the podcast, y'all, yeah. man. You know, this is just, yeah. this is just real talk. Coming from yeah. the Retro Bros. From the Retro Bros, man. We here. Real we conversation, here. man. Real conversation from a bunch of real players, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the slogan now, man. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's what they did. <laughs> all right, so man, all right, to conclude this, man, wait, this has to be done, man. Folks, gotta be ready in that, man. We're gonna do like our art, you're gonna hear Richmond Z's 
GQ Chimal's ranking. So we're going to just do yeah. top five from Cartoon Network. And bro, Nickelodeon. I think we should do a top ten, bro. Well, I know it's, it's it's because I don't. I'm afraid I may miss one. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's so many, we, so many. I, I think we should just pick our favorite ten, right? From if each, that's yeah. Possible from, from each. From yeah. each and mix it. Okay, all right. That's that's cool with me, man. Uh, I'll give you the floor, bro, man. So this like is the Super Bowl episode. <laughs> 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 so. What should we start off? Man, Network or I would I would say uh, let's start off with Cartoon Network. Yeah, Cartoon Network, my favorite uh, ten. Oh, Number man. one, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Ed, Ed and Eddie, right? And right. boys were about their quarters. I swear it, All like quarters. man, before like I'm um, hustling. Like, before I even knew what hustling was, it was Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> it was selling hey, like lemonade. They were the original scammers. The original. <laughs> the original scammers, man. <laughs> hey, it is tax season. They are the original <laughs> scammers. Scammers. <laughs> Update your wallet. Update your Eddie. wallet, folks. I believe you can watch <laughs> out. Watch out for these scammers, watch man. Out. It tried to get the boys are scheming. He was scheming, man. Habitual yeah. scammers. <laughs> I'm like, man, these boys had all. How did they make all these inventions? And they were still broke. I honestly, I, Yo, I was, it was I, always I never the, understood that. I was always the interesting thing, man. Like how smart Double D was. You know, you would yeah. make a decision. You just find yourself back in the same situation as they started. You know, it was incredible. But uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie was that show. It, it yeah. for sure, for sure, man. man. Ooh, so that's 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 Jesus. Right. That's gonna be a lot, a lot. So are we, all right, so we're just gonna do five because I think yeah. ten. Yeah, like I think I think five narrows it down. You know, I think okay. ten might be. I think five would be my yes, favorite you know? five. Yes, yeah, so we got Ed, Ed and Eddie. Cartoon Network. Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie number one, sure. number two, Dexter's Laboratory. Shout out to Dexter. Whew. Dexter, man. That was, that was the yeah. That was, that was a very um. Uh, it had a great way of doing like a storytelling. You know, Dexter. You know that was um whew, iconic. It, I I would honestly say Dexter is very iconic, man. Um, oh yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Number three, man. This, okay, this is gonna be hard. Mm. Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls, right, right, yeah. right. Because we we didn't talk too much about Powerpuff Girls, you know. Because again, it's no. so much. There's so much like great anime shows, especially for that time. But Powerpuff Girls, like, what was your like, you know, your thoughts on like the the the, the whole, you know, show? Yeah, Powerpuff Girls was that show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kept messing with Mojo Jojo, man. This my episode, favorite. He was just chilling. They I love Mojo Jojo. Out, like, yo, <laughs> what, what, what do all you right. want to? Bro, all right. I got to ask you this, you know, because I just, all right. So we, we're, in, we're in the midway of GQ's right here. What did you think of, like, some of these, like, uh, as I can say, uh, adult characters, you know, because this is before this whole woke. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about this all show long, man. What did you think of him? What are your thoughts of the character, him, the Powerpuff Girls? Please let a brother know. (laughs) You knew where I was going with this. Character was really like, why is he like talking like this? Like, <sighs> oh, man, bro, I used to have some uh, just kind of like I would be on the screen and watching this and be like, Is this should it be like, like this? I thought it was something right, like, yeah, even with Calvin Chicken. All oh, right, that's the, uh, the devil guy, the devil guy, the devil <laughs> guy. Bullshit too. Oh man! So, bro, 
they had these the, the, the guys were making these cartoons you know they they, they were they putting it shit, bro. Yeah. they did not care they didn't care man we didn't know because we were kids but when we go back and we talk about like him i'm like what this is yeah weird. man and like and it's over show um over, even dexter's laboratory they had some episodes where they you know, like uh, had these like adult references. Of course, Ren is Impy, as you yeah. mentioned. You know, so but yeah, I just wanted to put that in. Before I forgot. <laughs> Man, Ooh. another thing about Dexter's Laboratory, I love the Justice Friends. The Justice Friends. Well, it's funny. Um, on my uh, you know, upcoming review, you know, it's cheap plug like, again. Uh, I-, I talk a bit about like uh, the Justice Friends skit. From Dexter, yeah, yeah I took about. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna. If I just summarize it, uh, it's like filler. You know, like filler is. Yeah, but that's the best what filler though. It's yeah. <laughs> just as friends assemble. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like comes to her. Oh Pack, man, he was eating now. some nachos. And he what got a cavity. Yeah, do you remember when they were watching the puppets? Like Puppet Pal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, and they had the danger, you know, the, the monkey. You know the monkey the superhero monkey. I forgot his name. Uh he appeared yeah. in the Friends book. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil because I talk about this in my review. Uh, extensively, yeah. You're gonna have to wait and see it. <laughs> Man, that's that's what I love about those early Cartoon Network episodes. They had like filler. Yeah, like... and the the fillers actually were um some of the fillers were like extended. You know, like we're yeah. gonna talk about this on my ranking, but like you know, some of them were cool. You know, it fit the show. Mm-hmm. Right. So that was number three. So mm-hmm. we got Eddie and Eddie. Dexter Laboratory, Powerpuff Girls. Number four. Number four. I said number four. <laughs> <laughs> number four. I'll have to put Kids Next Door. Oh, right, right, right. Kids Next Door with that get... show, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number one. One. He was trying to hide what um what was his girlfriend's name? I forgot his girl. His girlfriend's name? Yeah. From the, the girl that was like obsessed over like number one. I forgot. she had like oh. glasses. She kept calling him Nige. Like <laughs> Nige. <laughs> I know. She. Oh my god, the name. Oh my yeah, god. I, I, oh, yeah, I, uh, but uh, I love Kids Next Door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. Uh, I didn't watch it as much as the others, but I still remember, like, uh, you know, few of the like when you said about the girl. <laughs> oh man! Ooh. Number four. Okay, so that's number four. Number five. I was gonna put this on. I was gonna put this on my top five, but honorable mention. I was put cow and chicken. Cow and chicken, yeah, sure, yeah. That's this. But number five, I would put regular show. Regular show, right, right, right. Yeah, Mordecai and Rigby. Yes, yes, yes. That was yes. my it's mom. It's a dog thing. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mom. <laughs> I was watching that recently, man. And he's like, you know who got this? My boss. I was like, oh. <laughs> what? Man, I love Rigby, bro. That yeah, record. Yeah, 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 Rigby yeah. was now about the word. They yeah. both. I'm like, how do they still have their job? Man? I this swear. Chilling. And the pops. You know the pops with the... the, the yeah. <laughs> Regular show is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think that. yeah, that's, that's my top five for this. Cartoon Network, right. but you want me to go to Nickelode- for Nickelodeon? Sure, sure, sure. Nickelodeon, number one, Rugrat. 100. Number two, Hey Arnold. Mm-hmm. 
Number three, Rocket Power. Oh, without a doubt. And number four. And these are just cartoons, y'all. And yeah. number four, I would have to put All Real Monsters. My honorable mention is SpongeBob. SpongeBob. But number five, I would yeah. put Doug. Doug. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, that's a that's a pretty solid ranking, man. Yeah. Ooh, I think just to change, I think I'll start. Yeah, off put with... Angry Beavers as another honorable mention. Ah, yes, you, you were, that was one I almost forgot about. You know, yeah. Is this cartoons that is like uh, the list is uh so extraordinary, you know, like. Yeah. Oh man, it's like one, maybe one day we would have to do like a list, like of all the, you know, the ag- shows that appeared. Man, it's just, it's gonna boggle our minds. Part two's uh, coming. Part two's coming soon, y'all. Coming soon, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, man. All right. Okay. So, all right. I'll start off with uh, yeah, Car Network, uh, Dragon Ball Z. You know, without a doubt, that was a big, big, uh, big. Uh, you know, show that came out, you know, Card Network, yeah. man. And it's like a, that with the tsunami phase, you know, that was super, super huge. So, yeah, Dragon Movie for sure on Cartoon Network. Uh, definitely second. Uh, this one's hard, you know, because, like, um, you know, if I, I, I possibly should, could put both, you know, even though it's the same career, creator, like, this is a laboratory, you know, yeah. of course, you know, and Definitely after I go put Samurai Jack in there, you know, same same creators. The guy who made Dexter Respect. made Samurai yeah. Jack, you know, and I do feel um, after seeing Samurai Jack, and especially it's more like adult than Dexter, I would say uh, Samurai Jack is probably just a slightly better than Dexter. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's like you know, I'm gonna hear this, you know, when I do the forward. So yeah, uh, Samurai Jack, Dexter, Dragon Ball Z. Oh man, so this is where it gets a bit hard because um I was a big fan of like the um the 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 DC comics you know shows so I really love like the Batman animated series and the Superman series I used to I used to love uh, you know watching them so like the Justice the, the Justice, Justice League yeah that yeah. whole DC comics they were all like first kids had Marvel. So all the Marvel yeah. shows were on there, but Cartoon yeah. Network had these DC comics, man. And I used to spend a long time watching Batman, Superman, you know, the Justice League. So I, if I had to put one, I would just put the uh, Batman, you know, anime series from Cartoon Network for sure, man. And ooh, number five, because mm, po- I would have put Pokemon, but it wasn't on Cartoon Network. It was right. on another channel, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so it'd be unfair to put that. Um, if it was just Car Network, hmm, you'll see the moon. Hmm, I really did watch the anime. No, I just saw the cartoon. Yeah, you just thought I could tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to oh, say. Oh, yeah. I'll... Go for it. Go ahead. I was going to say um, uh, Animaniacs. That originally was on the WB. WB, yeah, but like when yeah. I was, yeah, yeah, when I was back in, but yeah, but if if you're just talking about like your experience with Cartoon Network, that would be yeah. cool. So yeah, yeah like, like I, because, I, I think that would be fair. Yeah, yeah, because Animaniacs was so it's like a flagship of like Warner Brothers. You right. know, and it's so many of the Warner Brothers shows, as we mentioned, like the you know DC comics, they used to appear. You know, strictly on Cartoon Network. So I, oh, I yeah. always, I always remember Animaniacs on, you know, uh, Cartoon Network. Yeah. So, oh yeah, Animaniacs and Piggy in the Brain. Piggy in the Brain. Bought, Come I on, man. Bought the DVD. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I used to love those kind of short. Um, you know, they would do a Piggy in the Brain episodes. The Tasmanian Devil Show. Exactly. You know, so um, and you gotta remember as well because, like, when I when I started watching Animaniacs, uh, Space Jam, 
had come out in 1995, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like you had yeah. a Warner Brothers, you had some of the characters from like, you know, Animaniacs and Looney Tunes appear in Space Jam. You know, oh, so, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. A- during that time, during that time, they would play all like Looney Tunes, like show, yeah. like you would see. They, they had a program called the Acme Hour. Have you heard? I know of it. Yes, the Acme. That's Acme the uh, hour. Yes. Like the hour of like nonstop Looney, Looney Tunes. Tunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will play for like two hours. Then they will <laughs> play like a Tom and Jerry hour. But they play nothing but Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes during like during that era of Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network like, like, weekends. Yeah, it was amazing. It was just amazing time. In another in, show, in another cartoon, I thought about. Yeah, um, Teen Titans. Oh, bro! The regular Teen Titans. Bro, oh, all right, man. Not Teen Titans Go, bro. Teen Titans. I may, honestly, I may have to rewind that. <laughs> uh, <Titans>. Bro, <laughs> I love Animaniacs, but Teen Titans, that was my show. Yes. Dude, what you know about Cyborg, like, man? Booyah! Cyborg, <laughs> man. Cyborg, Rocky, Beast Boy, Beast Boy, Raven, Raven Starfire, uh, Starfire, and you know what was so cool about Teen Titans, man? I love yeah. the villain. You know, a slave. Yeah, he was cool. He was mysterious. Slave, yeah, you couldn't even it's see his name, Slave, bro. Slave. It was so cool, and like Robin had this rivalry. You know, we yeah. like Slade. Oh, bro, Teen Titans. All right, I'm sorry, Animaniacs. You know, one go, go. Teen Titans were <laughs> out of town. <laughs> yes, bro. That was a great show, man. I, uh, as you said, the new one is like, it's, it's not even nah. mentioned. You can't even nah. wait it. The original Teen Titans, man, fool. Love it to death. Love Teen Titans. Now's the time to talk about the honorable mentions. Of All right, each, man. So each like, network. I, yeah, man. So like, uh, I would put. Um, I was uh, now just when you <laughs> mentioned Teen Titans, I put Animaniacs, Looney Tunes, of course, Tom and Jerry. Um, yeah. you know, for Corey Network, Captain Planet, Captain, Captain Planet, Ooh. the hero. Yeah, that was a that was a big deal. Captain Planet, you know, Johnny um, Quest. And, Johnny Quest. <laughs> you know about Johnny Quest? <laughs> Not Johnny Test. Johnny Quest. Johnny Quest. Johnny, Johnny Quest. Yo, Johnny, Johnny Quest, Quest was that show, man. That was, that was cool. Hong I Kong Fui. Hong Kong Fui. The, the dog. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Two stupid dogs. Two stupid dogs, man. You know all of these ones, bro, man. I was like, Too stupid. courage, courage. Oh, How could I, I forget? Oh, courage, yeah, the courage. cowardly dog. You know, got to put in the Johnny Bravo. You know, of course, man, he's there, you know. So that would be, for current Network, that would be my honorable le- mentions. Um, as I said, I put Dragon Ball Z, Samurai Jack, and Dexter, Teen Titans, and I also yeah, had the yeah. Batman, the animated series. So that would be my five. Um, going on to Nickelodeon, Hey Arnold, straight off the bat. Hey, Arnold. Yeah, Hey Arnold. Bro. I always love Hey Arnold. The first thing that comes when I think of Hey Arnold is just the intro. It's like a wicker way, a wicker way. Oh. 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 Hey Arnold. Man, I appreciate like the music. Yeah. The music. I appreciate the background music of Hey Arnold. Bro, I think soundtrack wise, um, Hey Arnold incorporate a lot of jazz. You know, anyone who right. loves like jazz, man, you know, that kind of the smooth like music, yeah. man, like Hey Arnold did that the best. And there's even an episode where Hey Arnold gets this jazz musician, um, you know, back. He retired and he tries to get him, um, you know, back to perform. So it had a lot of elements of jazz. Which I which I love here on the even with Doug, even Doug too yeah Doug had some some jammers really I, yeah, I, I, yeah Doug had some cold cold yeah. songs Doug was Doug was uh, beats yeah I I loved I loved the uh, the yeah man man would I put all right I'm thinking what for Doug all right let me see hey Arnold of course um 
SpongeBob, especially the earlier seasons, I was yeah. definitely there was a time I was hooked on SpongeBob. Like yeah. <laughs> you know, believe me, when like my man just left him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man gosh you know there was there was so uh, I remember, yeah i remember when squidward got addicted to krabby patties <laughs> <laughs> it's like he lost his virginity or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah man it was an <laughs> Crusty Crab Pizza is Oh man. I like, oh, you know, man. all right, all right. Shout out to like uh Mr. Krabs. Dude, can we all agree he probably was the biggest cheapskate in, in, in America, like altogether? Oh my god. Now, you remind- they are my man. Yeah. My man sold SpongeBob for sixty-seven cents <laughs> to be your own boss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> man. He reminded me of Julius from Everybody Hates Chris. You know, Chris's dad, you know, it's like that costs like <laughs> twenty pieces <laughs> of juice. <laughs> my man, Julius, you're Julius. like that's twenty-three cents of oatmeal. Yeah. He's just checking it like that's a one hundred. That's one dollar eighty-two cents of of candy, Michelle. <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> so Michelle? What you doing? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Hey, I know this year I have to review. Every, everyone hates Chris, bro. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that. I'm um, just found out that it's on Amazon. At least the first season. You know, so you can watch like everybody yeah. else. Free. So I'm, I'm even like, man, I would, I would love to, cause I, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna get, go to the rest of my ranking, but I haven't done too much stuff talking about Chris Rock, you know. So I, I definitely gonna, yeah. definitely gonna. I was just it. watching Head of State last night. Oh really? Really, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I say, I, I, um, I haven't seen Head of State. The one I, I forgot was... how funny that movie yeah. was. Do you honestly, sidebar? Do you think it's better than Down to Earth? Oh hell yeah! Yeah, it is way ten times better than <laughs> Down to Earth. Down to Earth has some funny moments, but Head of State, yeah. It's ten times funnier yeah, than I Heather's. Mean, I mean, down to earth. But it, it goes to the inclusion of Bernie Mac, bro. You know, Bernie Mac was yeah, Bernie Mac. Man, it's true. <laughs> Tamela Tamela Jones, you know, is in there. I always, I always <laughs> like, had a thing for like, Tamela you know Jones. Jacob? Yeah. Like, do you know Nate Jacob? Like, <laughs> no, no, sir, I don't know Nate Jacob. Like, do you know Nate Jacob? Like, I don't know Nate Jacob. <laughs> Like, I don't talk about people behind their back. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank God. Yes. <laughs> talk about yes. he was a Bill's boss, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, yeah, it just stays oh, good news. I gotta watch that. But yeah, yes. all right. So, where was I with the ranking? So, yeah, I put Hey Arnold, I put SpongeBob. Um,. Rocket Power, of course. I gotta put Rocket Power in there. One hundred percent, man. That's one for sure, man. It's good times, you know. Like I, I wanted to move yeah. to, like those areas, like you know, California or Miami, because of shows yeah. like Rocket Power, where I could just skateboard. I can He's like, yeah, like Rocket that. Power and Tony Hawk made you want to go grab a skateboard. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think Tony Hawk gets his like just do. Yeah, you know, so definitely rocket power, man. Um, this one is hard because um, I, I definitely dog's gotta be there. I was gonna mention Arthur, you know, because <laughs> I used to. Hey, Ar- the wonderful yeah, Arthur guy CBS, to play. bro. Yeah, yeah, Arthur, but Arthur played on Nickelodeon. Where really? Yeah, it was. Oh, where you? Where you? Where I was that? coming from? Yeah, you came. Oh, it was, it was on oh, there. That makes a lot of sense because yeah, I'm used to seeing Arthur on PBS. On oh, PBS, yeah, 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 yeah. So it it was it was it was strange. Like so, I I, I, I didn't like syndicated then. Yeah, 
you know so yeah i remember watching a lot of uh, arthur and there was the magic uh, school bus what was oh, it magic called? school bus you know that one yeah yeah <laughs> yeah there was this It was mixed in there. No mainstream. <laughs> yeah, magic school was our first dog. So dog, dog would be my fourth one. You know, um, yeah, dog was. Yeah. Me. I related to dog as well. You know, um, because I was watching that while I just got into high school, so right. I could, I could really relate with dog. You know, trying to get with that girl who kind of oh, yeah. never wanted hey, him. That was just very underrated. I know. I love dog, and I love the design. You know how everyone looked at dog. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's one. And man, so coming in at number five, um, part of me wants to put Keenan and Kel just to put like, you know, because as you said, that was the flag bearer of Nickelodeon, you know, for sure, yeah. man. Um, man, if it wasn't Keenan and Kel, uh, so we got SpongeBob, Rocket Power, Dog, Hey Arnold. Ooh, it could be Rugrats, you know, yeah. now that I think about it. Because, um, as you said, Keenan and Kel, if I was to go back and watch it now, some episodes wouldn't, you know, gel yeah. as much. But I could still watch Rugrats and appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Rugrats yeah. had so many iconic episodes. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, man. It's like, um, I, I, I love the way, um, you know, I, I feel... Uh, It has a bit of that Toy Story vibe, you know, because it's yeah. like you know when the toys are, you you don't look at them as they have their own universe. It's like how the kids are, yeah. you know, they're talking and the the parents don't know what's going on at all, you know. So I I right. love that in Rugrats for sure. So that way that would be my five: uh, Rugrats, Hey Arnold, uh, definitely Dog, um, SpongeBob SquarePants, and. And, uh, what was the other one? I didn't ever say Rugrats. Yeah, yeah Rugrats. Rock Rocket Power. Rocket Power. Of course, that would be my right. Five, man. I mean, another show, another cartoon that started off well, then I just started to hate. That's probably one of the reasons why I don't watch. Then stop watching Nickelodeon. Right. Fairly Odd Parents. Oh my, Fairly Odd Parents, man. Um. You see, um, all right. This is interesting. You mentioned that that came on the same time when they milked the milk to death of SpongeBob. That's when yes. this later the the exact same time. Yeah, that Danny Phantom. I think Invader yeah. Invader Zim Invader Zim was on. Invader Zim was okay. Yo, people love Invader Zim. They they have a cult following, big time, like a real cult following. Hey, bro, I never got into that show. I I, I, I honestly mean, think you know I'm not gonna lie. Um, the um they really hyped it up because I yeah. always remember the first episode. You know, I watched it, but I was never into Invader Zim. Like that, right? I'm like, how? Like, people love Invaders in. Yeah, I like I watch this show. My, like, I don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, bro, if you even if you check, you know, like those sites like IGN or like yeah. those like top. Um, they make like a, uh, every year they make like a top 100 animated shows. I kid yeah. you not, Invaders Zim is always in there, like slotted in like that 30 or like 25. I uh, yeah, yeah. I, I to this day I still don't get it like why it has I, I no don't. <laughs> He's like I always love ch I love always love Charles but very yeah. odd period. Nah man, it started I, off great, but then yeah, it just got stupid. I I, I found it annoying. That's how I found like yeah. when I saw some of the yeah. characters, like the Enzo yeah. guy. You know, he's like very odd parents. You know, it was funny the first time, but <laughs> he kept on doing yeah. very odd parents, very odd parents. <laughs> yeah, very odd parents. You know, and it and there was another one so stupid. It made him so fake, bro. It just escaped my mind. Do you remember the boy genius Jimmy Neutron? Yes. Same time, they they even had a crossover yeah, episode. Neutron. They had a crossover episode. Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, Tron, you remember that, you know? So, <laughs> and I always love um, Rugrats. All grown up. Yeah, I love. Yeah, I love. I love that show. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 just, yeah. It was. Yeah, SpongeBob started that trend. Yeah, birthed all these other shows. 
Yeah. It just became annoying. It became annoying. Like, um, they all, it, it, it had them SpongeBob vibes. Like, there would be times, as I said, like, I would click on, especially the latest season, I would click on SpongeBob and it would take me just like maybe 10 seconds just to switch the channel. And then I'd come back and right. fairly odd parents would come on, Danny Phantom, and of course, Invader Zim. You know, and that, yeah. that's, that's when, again, I was slowly making my exit. Right. You know, from Nickelodeon, you know, it's like, I'm, hey, Arnold, I will always come back. You know, I'm a, you know, yeah. long time. I think, yeah. I think Nickelodeon, like, lost its soul. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. I think SpongeBob was a, I think SpongeBob was the reason. Yeah. yeah. It was the thing. Yeah, SpongeBob, it just reminds me of how Simpsons became. Like, at uh, one time, yeah. you know, it was a show that was made by just these, uh, directors who love animation and it yeah. became kind of mainstream like everyone mm-hmm. wants to be in the simpsons you know i remember right. spongebob spongebob did the same you had like guest stars who kept on appearing you know yeah. from to voice you know and then you had the movies you know the merchandise you know it's, it just it, it it lost as you said it lost this like what really made it good in the first place you know and that's, that's right in a way but yeah man but yes, uh, folks, you know, you heard that from uh, Rich Fancy and GQ Jamal, you know, we uh, we gave our, like, um, you know, our thoughts on the, you know, a current network and Nickelodeon. And just before I, like, conclude this, if you had to say overall, especially we given our rankings, what do you think was the superior channel, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? Man. Hmm. That's that's tough because Very. Nickelodeon was that channel. Yeah, it was that channel not to be stopped. Yeah, that's the way. Um, I think Nickelodeon really dominated the nineties for sure. The I I, I would agree. I think um, starring wise, Nickelodeon definitely had the edge. You know, because I think once they started like creating its own program, like. Because I know Doug, Rugrats, and Ren and Stimpy was the first cartoons that they produced. Yeah. Once they started, like, because I, cause I was watching a program about Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon was always around before those cartoons. Right. But once those three cartoons, like, aired, mm-hmm. Nickelodeon really, like, took off. Yeah. Blue. Then, then at the time, they had, like, you know, shows catered to teenagers. Mm-hmm. You had to the team, the Nick News, Nick News, yeah, yeah. The, the game shows, mm-hmm. yeah, they had their audiences, really dominated the two, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Mm-hmm. really dominated the two nineties. Then mm-hmm. Cartoon Network uh, became more superior within like the early two thousands. Yeah, so I would say Cartoon Network now is a more superior channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, this is coming from a person that was a it's a true Nickelodeon. Fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I definitely um my sentiments is that I was always like um what was it like I was watching one show from one channel then another one you know so I could yeah. watch Dexter then I could go back and Hey Arnold or I could watch Rocket Power then straight back right. watch like Johnny Bravo so that that's how I was always bouncing through but I it did get to a point that yeah Nickelodeon did start to dry out yeah and uh cartoon network was still producing shows you know as i said right. samurai samurai jack came out like in the you know later after the yeah. thing and i was i was still watching that you know they still had like the you know what was really cool cartoon network is they they had the other the ones that were like uh they blossomed out like tsunami mm-hmm. idol swim cnx you know so they had all those other extra channels you know so I think just overall, I would say as well, Cartoon Network is just has that slight edge. Oh yeah, and remember all the remember all the Nickel the orange Nick tapes. Yeah, like, man, like Nickelodeon kind of fumbled the bag. Big time. To be honest, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. it be- it became like, you're really gonna have SpongeBob like. I I was just gonna say that it's when it became it it, it had this kind of thing. I know it's. it's kind of weird to say but do you remember like when steve urkel got introduced to family matters it was family matters yeah. that it became steve 
Oracle Matters. Yeah. That's what happened with SpongeBob got. Team Oracle Matters. Team Oracle Matters. <laughs> Yeah, you know we both said it uh, when we talked about our reviews because I watched you. I watched you. you Family Matters. We both said the same thing of like he came in, Steve Urkel became so popular, and the focus went on him. The same applies. Right. To SpongeBob got hard, you know. It became SpongeBob, you know, Lodian. You know, it was just <laughs> yeah, Lodian. Yeah, you were just seeing anything with SpongeBob, man, and uh, that's that's where I yeah I just started. Because I, you know, I, as, as like Simpsons, you know, like I've always loved Simpsons and SpongeBob, but like right. there is sometimes when it's a bit too much, right? You know, and I just felt like that. They'll never cancel SpongeBob. Nah, it would never, you know. they'll, they'll never cancel the Simpsons. The Simpsons, no, no, no. And, and as I said, both of them, there was, there was the 80s. yeah, exactly. There was, there was times that Simpsons could have ended, you know, when they made the movie. Right. You know, they could have just said, okay, let's focus on Futurama. You even, this- yeah. Yeah, even with, sorry to cut you off, but well, even, with po- even with Pokemon with Kids WB, like yeah. before Pokemon came to Kids WB, you've seen all these like former WB shows. Yeah. And then once Pokemon like took over, mm-hmm. it was like the mask, Pikachu was a mascot of yeah. Kids WB. It was everywhere. They play Pokemon like four hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they like they just they they, they milked it, man. You know what I mean? They they super. All the other shows fade away. Mm. That's possibly one thing I do appreciate with Dragon Ball Z because um it did go away. You know there was a time like when Dragon Ball Z was hot as Pokemon. Then it then when the series ended, it went away yeah. for a bit. Then it, I think it came back later now with the newer episodes. Yeah. yeah, but there was there was a time when Dragon Ball Z wasn't like the talk of the town, you know, for a bit, you know, and they came right. Out. So, but yeah, you know, that's that's me and GQ thoughts. You know, you know, we ultimately came to the conclusion that, like, uh, even though we appreciate both of the, you know, awesome shows, um, I think Cartoon Network still overall, you know, still has the edge. You know, over yeah. um, you know Nickelodeon, you know, but yeah, man, it'd be nice to hear like your thoughts on like um, these two channels, or even just animation, animated series in general. So, you know, you can hit us up like on our social media, which is below. You know, we're on Instagram and you know, you know, Facebook. We got our social media links, and you could also check us out on YouTube. You know, because we have our YouTube accounts, <laughs> which we actually do reviews. You know, and we have done reviews of these animated series, so. It'd be cool for you yeah, to so go check that out. You know, check so. out our content, man. Oh, sure. For sure. So, yeah. Any any final words, you know, we come out on just like, um, you know, the because it was such a fantastic time, man. Like, uh, you know, um, it's funny when we were talking, each time, like, we would mention one anime series that we forgot to talk about. You know, when you said these right. guys, I was like, holy Lord, how could I forget this? <laughs> Yeah, man. What what are your final thoughts? You just man. man any final, my final thoughts. You just had to be there. That's all I have to say, man. Yeah. The nineties, early two thousands. That was just a wonderful time to just like watch TV, watch cartoons. Just the joy of just watching your favorite cartoon on your favorite network. Yeah. All the one wonderful moments. Nickelodeon will always have a place in my heart because mm-hmm. yeah, like all to to this day, Rugrats was my favorite cartoon off of Nickelodeon. The Cartoon Network, love Ed and Eddie, Ben yeah. Vlad. They sure. they didn't bite off these shows. Yeah, yeah each yeah. other's shows. They were they all had their like own style. Style. Yeah, one, one of the most important things because you did have. We talked about Pokemon, like originality. How was, originality, like when Pokemon got so big, you did have shows like Digimon, A Blade, and you know, <laughs> Yu Gi Oh! Rancher, I Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we, we saw a lot of copycats, you know, but like I think Cartoon Network, especially Nickelodeon, they kept their ones like their own style and in their own right. lane, you know, which was cool. You know. Yeah, man. Definitely. So, guys, yeah, uh, man, much appreciated. 
for listening to um you know if you have listened to the you know first uh three episodes in the podcast you know now we're on the episode four you know yes sir. And, you know as we you know we're now heading on to you know we, we're always going to be doing like um we're going to be touching on like retro topics but we will be talking on like uh you know some current topics as well yeah man if, for sure. if you have any topics that you want us yeah. to yeah. talk about just hit us up in our hit comment us section for sure man hit us up send us a message or it's whatever just, yeah. yeah we would love to like do a topic of your request yes we were both products of the 90s and mm-hmm. both grew up in the 90s and 2000s we do want to touch on things of the current present sure sure yeah yeah it's going to be said, you know what I mean? So, yes, uh, yes. With that being said, perfect way to sign out. You know, thanks again, you know, for uh, listening to the Retro Brothers podcast, you know. I'm Rich. Yes, sir. I'm with. I'm with <laughs> Rich Man Z and I am GQ Jamal. That's it. This is the Retro Brothers, <laughs> the Brothers. podcast. Podcast. This is Angeline, Charlemagne <laughs> the God, DJ Envy, 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 Envy. And we, we, yeah, we are the Retro Brothers. Good morning.